G'day everyone, this is Sniper League 5 and we've got another viewer submitted loadout. This one was kindly provided by Bully, so thank you very much Bully, and they've given us three weapons to try out. Uh, the Lee No. 4 rifle, the M1A1 Gov submachine gun, or also known as the Thompson, and then also the Mark 6 revolver. No, those last two weapons, I haven't really used them too often previously, uh, and also haven't used them recently as well, so be interested to in see how they perform. But what we'll do, we'll go through the process to add the attachments, try them out in the shooting range, and then we'll go into mission and see how they all perform. So first of all, with the lead number four rifle, the attachments that Bully has suggested for the site, we're using the M84. What that does is give us a six times authentic zoom, so very high zoom. The barrel is the short carbine or carbine. Uh, we get faster movement and improves aim stability, but it does greatly increase uh, the bullet drop. So we'll see how that handles. The muzzle, uh, is the Helcon 43, there it is. Okay, so it keeps us at the audible range at 105 meters. We reduces vertical recall, but also a slower aim time. Hmm, no problems there, we'll be able to do with that. Magazine, uh, the five round lightweight magazine for faster reloads and also improves aim stability, uh, but then we do drop down uh, in bullet numbers. The stock, the stock we're using is bullet loops, so faster reloads and faster rate of fire. For grip, we are using the thick grip tape, which greatly improves spread accuracy. Uh, the receiver, the lightened assembly, so faster rate of fire. And construction is the laminated beach, uh, which gives us an uh, improvement in aim stability. Now, they've also mentioned for the cosmetic to use the cloth wrap. Unfortunately, I don't have the cloth wrap unlocked. Um, I think the closest one would probably be the ghillie wrap, so I'll choose it instead. And for the ammunition, they've suggested armor piercing and soft point, which we've already got there. Okay, so looking at the details of this uh, weapon, power is about 60% or so, rate of fire also about 60%, control is high, about 80%, and mobility 40 to 50%. Um, so yeah, it looks like a good powerful weapon, um, especially with the sight that would help with the long range engagements. I uh, just need to be aware of the audible range of over 100 meters and the magazine size. Yeah, that should be doable as long as we can nail those long shots. Okay, moving on to the secondary, the M1A1 Gov. So for the barrel, we've got precision rifling uh, that improves spread accuracy. The muzzle is the McLean Control Brake. Okay, so ooh, so we go from 100 meter auto range to 130 meter auto range, uh, but makes it easier to control. And as you can see, the negative is very loud. Uh, I'll need, definitely need to keep that into mind. The magazine uh, we're using stand. Oh, my mistake! I showed the wrong. Looking the wrong thing. Uh, it's the 30 round magazine. Uh, so we get a larger magazine, but we get a bit of a slower aim time and reduce the spread accuracy. Now, yeah, this is the place I was reading before. Uh, for stock, we're just using the standard stock. Uh, the foregrip, we're using the Tactical Owen. Uh, this gives us quicker aim time and a faster recall recovery. The rear grip is the aim type times three, which gives us a, uh, we can move faster while aiming. And then the receiver is the heavy bolt uh, that reduces recoil. Okay, they've not chosen any particular ammunition in this one, so I've gone with armor piercing and soft point. Uh, so from the details of the weapon, power is about 40 to 50 percent, rate of fire is about the same, control is about 60 percent, and mobility is about uh, 40 percent. Um, so the thing I need to keep in mind is the auto range, 130 meters, so you're going to definitely attract attention. Uh, magazine size is 30, so that definitely help uh, with the engagements of uh, multiple enemies at one time. Okay, moving on to the revolver. So yeah, with the revolver, we've got magazine is standard. The rear grip is a leather fast loader, which gives us a faster reloads. And then the receiver is a lightened bolt, which also gives us a faster rate of fire. Um, so for the details there, hmm, the power is, ooh, that's about 80%, I guess. Rear fire is about 30 to 40%. Control mobility is around 20%. Um, okay, so keep in mind, all the range is 75 meters. It is a revolver, so we expect it to be quite loud. Um, and ammunition, uh, Bully hasn't chosen any particular ammunition. I'll just leave it as armor piercing and match, just to mess about and see how we go. 
But uh, yeah, overall, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, it's going to be quite loud, especially with the submachine gun. Uh, what was it at? 130 meters. So got to keep that in mind. And But I'm looking forward to testing out this uh, rifle. Uh, we can get some good, nice long range shots. Uh, hopefully we don't draw too much attention with it though. Okay, so what we do first, we jump into the shooting range and test it out. We're back in the shooting range, so let's test out these weapons. Uh, first of all is the lead number 4 rifle. Uh, what does it look like over the shoulder? Uh, looks very nice, I especially like the bullet loops on the stock. Um, let's see how it handles, actually pretty steady, just aiming down the sights. Yeah, not much uh, movement. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Especially, um, is it the echo of the, um, the bullet? Hmm, okay, um, yeah, still not, still not, uh, was it doing empty lung? And it seems quite stable. Very nice. Ooh. And reload is pretty quick too. Um, let me just test something as well. Ooh, the chambering of the bullet is quick. Hmm, okay, so it should be good for engaging uh, multiple enemies in quick succession. Uh, let's see how we go for a bit longer range. Uh, about there, I think. And this one's about here, yeah, I think. Yeah, very nice. Um, I like that. Just got to be aware of the noise it makes. Uh, let's try the Thompson or the M1A1 Gov. Over the shoulder, um, looks pretty standard. Nothing stands out of it. But uh, yeah, aiming down the side, okay. It kind of like obscures the picture quite a bit, so. Hmm, we'll just need to be aware of that, but also this one has about 130 meter audible range, so oh this might be tricky. Trying to know try and nail those uh, headshots. Seems okay, but uh, yeah, there's a bit of a movement. Um what about over the shoulder shooting? Hmm. I'm not too sure. I probably will just use this for a bit more closer range than long range. Yeah, especially the bit of a bullet drop you can tell. What if I aim? Is that gonna make a difference? A bit too high. Yeah. I'm just thinking like how many bullets we require to take out an enemy that's quite far or even med medium range. But uh, anything that's quite close, you should be able to get a headshot. Uh, what about reloading? Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, let me just test it with a uh, quick firing of multiple enemies at one time over the shoulder. Hmm, very nice. Okay, so I think this would be good for maybe like uh, if you get in trouble and enemies kind of storm you, but uh, of course just got to be rare at 130 meter auto range. Moving on to the revolver, the Mark VI uh, revolver. Ooh, that's nice and loud as you expect. Can I get long range shots with the revolver? Hmm, that might be a bit troublesome, but of course you're not really meant to use the this revolver for long range shots. But if you can get maybe a clean body shot, it should take somebody out. And the reload is uh, pretty quick too. Hmm, very nice. Um, just for kicks and giggles, let's see how we go a bit longer ranges. A bit high. Hmm, okay. If you can aim for some the body shots, might not be too bad. Oh. Actually, I spoke too soon. Yeah, that's a bit better. Can we get any long shots here? Okay, there we go. Oh, totally missed that one. Yeah, so this one I'll need to probably use sparingly, but uh, it's there if we need a bit of power, especially, you know, might have some uh, enemies we need to take out quickly and you can nail those shots, so we should be good to go. Okay, we'll jump into a mission and see how this all performs. So we're back once again in Spy Academy to try out this loadout. Now just be wary or be aware that the uh, weapons are kind of loud, especially the submachine gun at 130 meters audible range. Um, these guys are what, 140, 150 meters, that should be okay, even for the rifle at 105 meters audible range. Uh, but there are enemies over there by the truck, um, but they won't hear it because of the hill that causing blockage of the sound.
Ooh. Straight in the face. Oh, that's a lot of fragments. Damn. Did his friend notice that? No, he didn't. Okay. Just waiting for him to stand still before we hit the shot. Ooh, I think I scraped his neck, but that's still a kill. We'll take that. Hmm. Okay, so in this loadout that Bully has provided, the ammunition, we don't have match rounds. Uh, we got soft point and armor. I'll go soft point. So it's extremely powerful against unarmored infantry. So I'm not gonna aim for the head because the snipers do have helmets, right? Yeah, 380. Who is walking? Um, maybe about there, I think. Oh, that hit the helmet. Ooh, I was trying to aim for the body, but the first one hit the helmet. Oh, okay. I'll take that straight into the mouth by looks of things. But as you saw there, the weapon has fast chambering, so even though first shot hit and it didn't take him out, we did manage to do fast shots after. Oh, this guy's going to move quickly, I think. Uh, I'll wait for him to come back around the tower. Um, is the other sniper here? Oh, he's right there. We can just see his head. Mm, do I go for the shot? This is going to be very tricky, I think. Um... You know what? Let's try. Why not? It's worth a shot, isn't it? It's about there. Nice! Oh, that's a very nice kill. Look at the gap I needed to thread the needle. Nicely done. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the old switcheroo of ammunition and then switch it back to soft point to get the full amount of bullets in the weapon is this sniper back there he is 407 meters away okay um oh it's about yeah i think nicely done and let's go for this last guy oh he's got a friend behind him What oh, nasty shot. <laughs> Just curious, did his friend notice that? Oh, he did too. Okay, interesting. Um, So they're aware something's going on now. Okay, okay. Not much I can do at the moment unless his friend decides to rock up in the window. Oh, is he going to do anything? Oh, he is too. Come on, come on, stick your head out. If you don't stick your head out soon, then we'll just move and continue anyway. Yeah, okay, we'll forget that. Um, I'll change that to standard rounds. And we'll continue on. Okay. So we're going to use the submachine gun, the uh, Thompson. And... Um, you know what? We'll go loud just for fun to see how it handles because we've got 30 rounds in this, right? So we should be okay. If we get multiple enemies coming towards us, that's one thing. And we should be able to deal with it, especially with the rifle because the rifle, you got fast chambering and fast reloads. That means you can take out multiple enemies in quick succession. Uh, let's do this. Can't stay here. Let's take out this guy that's in the truck. Oh, bad angle. And get his feet. Nice. Okay. Uh, oops, they've heard that for sure. Okay, they know something's going on. I'm just going to pull back for a bit because we've got enemies. Was that enemy there? No, that was Shadow.
Okay. Oh, there we go. That's pistol. A revolver. Nice. Okay, so good backup, even though we got hit. Yeah, so it is very loud, but uh, we're going to deal with it. Makes it a bit more interesting as well, doesn't it? There's an enemy around here. Don't know. Let me just chuck a mine. There we go. You know Let's use a revolver. See how this works at some range. Ooh, nice. What about this range? Ooh, that's a bit too much, I think. Ooh, bit of a dive there. What? Oh, there's someone wanting us. Where is he? I can't see him between, behind the bushes. Um, let me just reload the revolver rating. How's the submachine gun handling? Uh, full rounds, okay. Rifle's got one. Finish off with a revolver, why not? Oh, I'm gonna actually aim properly. Oh, that's nasty, okay. <laughs> Let me just move over here for a moment. I just wanna grab some more mines. Some ammunition, why not? Oh, people know I'm here. Uh, let's take out the alarm. It's about there, right? Oh, bit too low. There we go, nicely done. So the revolver is powerful. Even you can see we've got some good shots at medium range to hit enemies and take them out. Um, and the rifle is pretty sweet as well. Ooh, we've got some enemies running over there. Just grab ammunition. Okay, uh, we're gonna make some noise. This guy, landmine guy, always doing his business, never knowing. Oh, wrong weapon. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, in the legs. Uh, that still works either way. Okay, so enemy knows we're here, so that's good. We're gonna have a bit of fun. Let's take this guy out if we can. Oh, straight in the face. I really want to test out the uh, Thompson a bit more. I saw somebody down there to the left. Actually, let's use the revolver. Yep. If you can get good shots aim-wise, you'll be fine. Oh, do I even bother with this distance? Yep, okay. Not the best. Especially enemies that are moving, so... Oh, that's somebody over there? I thought I just saw a head. He is not aware of anything You're kidding me, right? Better move it. Uh he's injured for sure, okay. Oh, enemies know I'm here now. Felt a bit evil there. We injured the first guy, his friend came to help him out, and we took him out. There's somebody there, there is two. Let's check this out. Oh, nasty. And that hammer went straight through the body. Holy crap. Okay, um, I think they definitely know we're here now. I see anybody? No. 
Okay, this might be a bit dangerous, but uh, let's do it. There's no one? Really? Oh, there's one. Okay, so... Hmm, even tap firing the um, Thompson at that range is not bad. Okay, so so far the rifle is great. Oh, oh there. Oh, he had a good shot on me. I was going to say the rifle is pretty good. Oh, this guy's going down there to the machine gun, isn't he? I was going to say the rifle is pretty good. You got quick shots. Um, if you miss any, um, you got follow-up shots, I mean. Some machine guns not too bad. The, the revolver is damaging as well, but you definitely got to make your shots count. Uh, how many bullets have I got in the river? Six. Okay, that's full complement. Oh, there's some enemies there. Let's see if we can hit this guy. Oops. Ooh, nice slow motion with the revolver. Bit of a long focus there on the slow mo kill, but okay. Oop, there's an enemy right there. Okay, so if you can aim nicely, it's good, but, uh... Can I just bandage while I'm moving? Yes. There's a guy to the left of the machine gun. He's the one that actually shot me, or got a hit on me. He's gone. Okay. Hmm. Oop. Oh, where was that from? Oh, I can't see him in the dark. But there he is. Okay, he's gonna rock up soon, I believe. Any other enemies coming close? I don't know. Okay, this is dangerous, but... Uh... Oh, there he is. Nice. Where did that other guy go? Did he run off? Hmm. Just trying to think if I bother trying to take out the sniper to the right. Oh, hang on a second. We've got more enemies here. Nice. Oh, he tagged somebody there. Oh, he's running. He's running away. Scaredy cat. Oh, he's running over there. What? Take your head up, man. Whoa, okay. So, yeah, pretty much with uh, the Thompson. Nice medium range shots if you can aim accurately. But if you want to go all loud. Oh, wrong weapon. Give me my. Oh, two guys. Ooh, there we go. Nicely done. Hmm. Alarm's raised. Damn. Oh, there goes the alarm. You know what? Let's head back for a bit. Just want to see what we're dealing with when they all come out. Just make sure I'm fully reloaded and we'll deal with um, what we got to deal with. Some machine gun, definitely going to reload that. Oh, change to over and change it back. Oh, we got enemies to the left. I just saw that there. Ooh. Is that bye bye dental plan? I think it was. Okay, let me pistol. Yeah, nice. Reload that fully as well using the old trick. Okay, so since the alarm's going off, now I just want to wait and see what we got to deal with. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Oh, 
Someone's firing. Uh, that's probably a sniper to the right that can't see me. So yeah, isn't it like normally the special forces guys or the guys at the balaclavas that rock up and try to take you out? Uh, unless for some reason it's a uh, glitched, but we'll wait and see. Oh, there's someone. Oh, let's go down here. Ready to go. Oh, they're down here now. Definitely gotta tap fire. Try not to go full auto. Hmm. Very nice. I'm actually liking this um, rifle in terms that if I do miss shots, follow up is very very quick. I think that's it. I don't think anyone else rocking up, even though the alarm is going on. Okay, uh, and they turned the alarm off. Maybe they got uh, tired of it and uh, they thought, oh, this guy is no longer here. Oh, hang on a second. Maybe that's the last one. Though I can see you don't firing. Okay, so yeah, rifle's really good in terms of uh, fast recovery and also getting shots off quickly if you miss, which I've shown many times here. Uh, the submachine gun, the Thompson, or the M1A1 Gov, very nice indeed, especially you can nail those uh, medium shots with tap firing. And the revolver, powerhouse of course, um, just gotta aim up properly, otherwise I'm uh, gonna waste your shots and take a long time, or not that long, but take some time to recover. Sweet. Okay, so thank you much, Bully, for the suggestion of the loadout. Do appreciate it. If anybody else wants to submit a loadout, feel free to do so in the community post. I'll put the link in the description. But uh, if you're new, please subscribe, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.